Hello, hello, hello. I'm Knits for Sanity, and today I have a diamond painting unboxing. Normally, I don't show you the exterior package for how it was delivered to me, but this time, I really felt that I needed to. This is how this package was shipped. So, I will talk more about that in a few minutes. I'm going to just take off this outer packaging, and then I will be right back. Okay, I am back. These kits are from Home Craftology. I am sure you have seen advertisements by them on different social media pages. I finally took the bait and thought, let's go ahead and we will place an order. It is a company that I am not very familiar with. Um, and already, right away, without looking at the paintings, there are things that I both like and don't really care for about this company. The first one is that was quite the interesting shipping job. And indeed, this larger box has arrived a, a little bent out of shape. But I think the contents will be fine. Uh, their company works. They, should, they ship things directly to their customers from China. So it was a little bit of a wait for me to get my canvases. I want to say at least two weeks. I'd have to go back and check, but it was at least a couple of weeks from the time I ordered to the time when I actually had my kits here. The other thing is this box does have a teeny tiny little sticker that kind of lets me know which painting is inside of it. And this box, there is nothing anywhere on the exterior to let me know what kit is in this box. I'm hoping it's the right one. Home Craftology does say that all of their artwork is licensed. The best that I can figure is it is all stock art that they use, something like Shutterstock, or there are different um, companies that do offer artwork for sale that they are licensed with artists. So yes, if that is indeed what they are doing, which appears to be the case, it is indeed licensed artwork and the artists are given compensation for what they have done. Now, it is not like a company like, say, Diamond Art Club, um, as well as a few others that tend to be smaller diamond art companies that often will work one-on-one -on -one with an artist and get individual licensing from that artist. The really neat thing about that is then you are more likely to see that artist featured on that website, and you can anticipate new arrivals and new releases by that artist. So that is definitely a difference between the two right there. The other thing that I did kind of like, and we'll see how it plays out when I open these kits, is Home Craftology gave me the option, I believe for every painting I looked at, if I wanted round or square diamonds. It also gave me a sizing option from canvases that really are very small and most images probably would not work well on a canvas that small, to canvases that are quite large. Every size, every canvas did have a recommended size listed. And this one, it looks like the 105 by 30 centimeter was their recommended size for this particular painting based on what this sticker says. And I'm pretty sure it was. I think this one was too. I think I just got the recommended sizes for both of them. Now these kits, it was part of their buy one, get one 50% off special, which means I could not shop from all of the kits that they have available, but they had probably about 30 different kits that I could choose from. And it just so happened they had one Halloween themed one that I really liked in there. And then this bird one I thought might make a lovely gift for somebody. Anyway, let's go ahead and let's open the Halloween one first. And again, there are no markings on this box to let me know what's in here. box is now empty. All right, on the inside, they do come in a little like tote here with their logo printed on the bottom, Home Craftology. We will pull this out. Wrapped in a pretty blue bow. 
Their canvases are all poured glue canvases. On the inside, um, you have your standard equipment here. You all know what's in the toolkit. If you do not, I will just quickly tell you that everything that you need in order to do your kit will be in this toolkit. You have a drill pen, tweezers, wax, and a drill tray. All right, so here are all of our diamonds. And this is indeed the right kit. This is the one that I got. I just thought it was really kind of cool looking. Um, I do like that when you open it up, there is an image, an additional image in here, which gives me a little bit more confidence that hopefully these are the right drills for this kit. Their drills are all packaged individually with weights on here, much like that one crystal canvas art design kit that I opened that had grams on there too. So these are measured out by grams. And if you wanted, you could actually not have to kit up any further than this and you could just work from these bags if you wanted. Now looking at these diamonds, some things that you wanna kinda of look for are, do we have flat bottoms? Do we have dimples? You know, I do see a couple dimples on the bottoms of these. But for the most part, they appear to be quite flat bottoms. All right, let's pull out our sheet here though. If I can open up this piece of paper. All right, so there are 40 colors total. They give you a chart here, which this is something that you could easily run through a sticker maker if you wanted, which is what I will end up doing along with a little image of what you are working on. They give you quantity as well as the weight for number of drills. So for color 152, there should be 400 drills and a weight of 2.3 grams. That is kind of nice. So if I can find that color 152 in here, which is a number one, I can maybe find number one in here. I didn't think it was going to be this difficult. Number 18, number 14. <laughs> well, you're getting to see all the different colors this way. Unless I'm missing something. No, nope. those are the None of those little packages. Here we go. I, I found it. All right. So, number one is 2.3 grams. The DMC ID number is 152. They tell me they gave me 400 drills in here with a weight of 2.3 grams. And so each of them are listed that way. All right, let's take a look at the canvas itself now. Also in here, this is kind of weird. There's some rolled up wax paper, which if, as long as you make sure you use the right side, you could use this as release paper, but because of how it was shipped and packaged, it comes kind of beat up. So I think I will probably just throw this away. Um, the bag that the drills come in is not the sturdiest bag either. 
So I'll probably have to come up with a different way to store these drills until I'm ready to use this kit. But the drills themselves look fine. I don't see any problems with the drills themselves. Let's roll this backward. Again, because this is a poured canvas kit, you can do that. Roll it backward to help it lay out a little bit flatter. All right, the canvas feels lovely. Um, it is thick, much like other companies. It has been protected against fraying by both the scalloped edge as well as the pierced dots in there. You have home craftology at the top here. You have one symbol list on this side with an image. And you have your second symbol list on this side with an image. Hello. I just filmed the whole unboxing of the bird portrait without filming the whole unboxing of the bird portrait, which was kind of silly of me. However, um, I don't want to go into all the details again because really you can see it all with the first canvas. In this canvas, however, there are more colors, which mean there are more symbols. There are a total of 45 colors. Some of these are pretty different looking symbols, as you can see looking at this sheet. But again, you do have the DMC number. You have the quantity of drills that you should have, as well as the weight by grams that you should have in each bag. This kit has no AB drills in it either. And so I don't know if I just happened to select two kits that don't have any special drills, or if this company just does not use special drills, or if they do not yet have special drills, if it's something that's maybe coming. I don't know. I'm going to pull out one smaller bag and examine the drills with you. So looking at these drills, there are several that do have these weird little dimples in them, but otherwise the back of the drill is very, very flat, which suggests that they should still lay quite nicely on the canvas and hopefully not have popping issues. The tops of them all look really, really good. And a lot of this, you just won't know till you start working on the canvas, just how well the drills work out. And uh, because this bag is not the sturdiest, I'm just gonna actually leave all of the drills in here. But here you can get an idea of all of the gorgeous colors in this painting. I just, oh, I love this huge rainbow of colors. It's such a wide array. I'm so used to working on pretty monochromatic paintings that to see this rainbow full is a lot of fun. And then the canvas itself feels amazing. It has the same anti-fraying prevention on the ends with the scalloped edges as well as little drilled holes. Each end does have a symbol list with a teeny tiny, I mean, the image is so small though that you can't even really see what it is, but each end does have one. And the symbols do appear quite clear in here because some of these symbols are just very different. Um, it will take a little bit of adjusting, I think, to getting used to seeing some of them. This symbol is hard to read on this blue. What is that? That is the percentage sign is what that is. Sorry. Oh, you're blown up. You can't even see. Oh, sorry about that. That is the percentage sign. And that is kind of hard to read. As is this mark. Again, using black on the dark colors is harder to decipher. Once you know and get going in a painting, it should not be that difficult. This painting does have a lot of confetti. Um, even just looking at like the background here, this is a lot of confetti. But I'm hoping that it works up really, really nicely and the end result is just going to be beautiful. 
like I said, I was kind of thinking this would make a really nice gift for somebody I know who really enjoys birds. And I think it would look really pretty sitting above a doorway. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll see. And again, there is no artist name. There is no painting name on here. Why is that? Homecraftology does say that all of their kits are licensed, and I believe them. It's probably because they use a stock art company that specializes in buying the right to use art by artists, making it available for other companies to be able to use their art. So the artists are still receiving compensation, but because of how this art was licensed and brought to use, generally you will never know who the artist is, and quite often you won't even know the name of the painting, which does make me a little bit sad. But otherwise, both of these kits are from Homecraftology, and they do have a special. You can buy one, get one 50% off. It's just a select number of paintings that you can do that. They also run a number of other specials all the time as well. I think currently, at the time of this filming, it is 35% off from any nature-themed painting, which would include something like this. Um, if you see them on social media, go ahead, click on them, check them out. I'm excited to work on these and give you a post review and tell you what I really think of the company. Thank you very much. Be kind. Have a great day.